Hi there, and welcome back to Simple Science. Today's project is a small electric motor that will be slightly more powerful than the homopolar motor that we constructed in our last episode. Alright, as usual, we will start with what supplies you're going to need. First, you will need a cigar box, two paper clips, four neodymium magnets. If you did our last project, you should still have these around. A spool of 22 or 24 gauge magnet wire. This is the type of wire that is coated with enamel instead of a plastic insulator. You will also need two push pins. Any small cylinder that is about a half inch in diameter. You could use a magic marker for example. Two D cell batteries and a battery holder. Two jumper wires with alligator clips at each end. And just like in many of our projects, you'll be needing your scissors and small needle nose pliers again. Well, that's about it for supplies. Let's get building. Using your small pliers, bend the two paper clips into an L shape as shown. Bend the larger of the two halves of each paper clip into a small loop. Hold one of your magnets on the inside of the cigar box. Place the other three on the outside. The strong magnetism will hold them in place. Leaving about two inches of straight wire, wrap 30 to 40 turns of the magnet wire around your cylinder. Carefully slide the coil off of the cylinder and cut the other end to about two inches. Wrap a few turns around each side of the coil to hold it in shape. Then reverse direction to form a loop and pass the wire through it. This will lock each wire in place. Straighten each end and make them as straight as possible. You can use the handles of the pliers to test the coil's balance. Using your scissors, carefully scrape away only the insulation on the top of each straight piece of wire. This will allow the coil to conduct electricity when one side is facing up but not when the other side is facing up. This interruption in conductivity is necessary for the motor to operate. If the coil always conducted, it would lock into just one position over the magnet. Lay the coil in front of the magnets on your cigar box. This will serve as a guide for positioning the two paper clips. Position each paper clip as shown making sure that the loops at the top align with the areas of straight wire that have the insulation scraped off. Secure each paper clip with the push pins. Clip each straight piece of wire to about a half inch and insert the entire assembly into the two loops at the top of the paper clips. Balance the coil as much as possible by bending the straight wire slightly if necessary. Attach one end of each jumper wire to the two connectors on your battery holder and attach the other ends to the two paper clips. That's it. Give the coil a gentle spin and your motor should start. If it fails to start, first try spinning it in the other direction. Next you would check that the insulation is completely scraped off on the top half of each of the wires. And finally, check your batteries. If everything checks out, this is what should happen. Well, that's about it for this episode of Simple Science. I hope you had fun building this project, and I hope it gave you some ideas for some interesting conversations about magnetism and how it can be used. Thank you all for joining us, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. See you next time.